Lunar Laser Ranging Retroreflector – Proof of Humanity's Giant Leap The Lunar Laser Ranging Retroreflector LLRR, is a testament to one of humanity's most significant achievements, landing on the moon. Deployed during the Apollo 11, Apollo 14, and Apollo 15 missions, the LLRR consists of an array of corner cube prisms designed to reflect light directly back to its source. This instrument has played a pivotal role in scientific research, enabling precise measurements of the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Its long-term functionality and the data it provides have significantly contributed to our understanding of lunar and Earth dynamics. The primary purpose of the LLRR is to measure the Earth-Moon distance with high precision. Scientists achieve this by timing the round-trip travel of laser pulses sent from Earth to the retroreflector and back. This data is crucial for understanding the Moon's orbit, rotation, and orientation in space. Additionally, it provides insights into the dynamics of the Earth-Moon system, including tidal interactions and gravitational forces. Such detailed measurements also allow scientists to test general relativity, including the equivalence principle and the variability of the gravitational constant. Historically, the deployment of the LLRR marks a significant milestone in space exploration. The first retroreflector was placed on the Moon by the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, heralding a new era of scientific discovery. The fact that these instruments have been in continuous use since their deployment underscores their durability and the foresight of their design. The corner cube prisms made from fused silica glass reflect light directly back to the source regardless of the angle of incidence, making the LLRR a passive yet highly effective scientific instrument. The LLRR also serves as incontrovertible proof that humans have landed on the moon. The retroreflectors were physically placed on the lunar surface by astronauts, and their precise locations correspond with documented Apollo landing sites. The ability to send laser beams from Earth to these retroreflectors and receive reflections back is direct evidence of their presence. Moreover, the consistent measurements obtained from these instruments over decades could only be achieved if they were indeed on the moon. The operational data collected by these retroreflectors has been independently verified by observatories and research institutions worldwide, further confirming their presence and utility. Alternative explanations for the retroreflectors' presence do not hold up under scrutiny. There are no natural formations on the Moon capable of mimicking the precise reflection patterns of these man-made corner cube prisms. At the time of the Apollo missions, no other nation or private entity had the capability to place such instruments on the Moon without a manned mission. The extensive documentation of the Apollo missions, including photographs, videos, mission logs, and numerous eyewitness accounts, corroborates the successful deployment of the retroreflectors. In summary, the Lunar Laser Ranging Retroreflector Arrays are not only a remarkable scientific tool, but also irrefutable evidence of human exploration of the Moon. The continuous use and valuable data provided by these retroreflectors underscore their significance. They stand as enduring proof of humanity's ability to achieve the extraordinary, pushing the boundaries of science and exploration. The LLRR continues to shine a light on our understanding of the cosmos, reflecting the ingenuity and perseverance of the human spirit.